Have you ever woken up in the morning and thought to yourself, I hope I suffer today? Well, lucky for you, I have the perfect pain inducing method. The volcano mapping remote will ensure you will fear even the thought of a heat wave. Here we are. Yep, this shore is a volcano. Will I be able to survive the smoldering heat? Uh, probably not. But I can be sure of one thing, you freaks will enjoy watching me suffer. Unsurprisingly, this place is a barren wasteland where life doesn't really prosper, except this small plot of soil that will not provide enough food. Let's start planting now, hopefully nothing will ruin my crops. I have a feeling that using wood for the base is a bad idea on a volcano, so uh, still base it is. I have the pooping mod installed, your colonists need to take baths, wash their filthy hands and more makes building a base way more fun, I highly recommend it. Although how a well works on Volcano, uh, it just works. I have no clue how a passive cooler works and I won't google it, but let's make one before they get a heat stroke. Cooling off break team, huddle up and let's discuss how we're going to survive. Who has any idea? Oh, good luck to us. Ryan, amigo, we have beds, stop being an animal. Yes, he really doesn't like Mel that he would rather sleep on sulfuric ground. Go sleep with Phil and no babies. I don't want to feel bad when it inevitably dies a horrible death. Poor Mal, I don't think she slept well that night. Plague? What year is this? Get out of here with your old diseases. They are not cool anymore. All jokes aside, I just started. You better not die. What is that? Ah, it's friendly. Almost had a heart attack. Let me put doors on the storage room before that thing eats all my food. This place is full of surprises. Can't wait to see what else it has to offer. I was being very sarcastic. Look at this advanced tech. A ceiling fan with a built-in lamp. Wait, you can see the shadow of it spinning around. That's actually cool. It seems Ryan is going to make it through the plague. My mood got a plus one. Look at this base. It's so small and cute and organized. I don't know why, but it's really appealing to me. Let me put down some traps. Just in case another gigantic creature wants to come and say hi to us. Even with all the coolers, they're still around 30 degrees inside. That is pain, but that is like a normal Romanian summer, just smoldering heat and sweating like a pig. Better than the 60 degrees that are outside. If our colonists could scream, they would. A lot. It's time to get our mechanical implants. This thing has 3k health, so uh, I'll see you in 5 minutes when they are done breaking it. Alright, I made my dinner and ate it. Uh, since they finished. What if I tame one of the big boys? No one would mess with me anymore. Well, with a 14% chance, I think this dream is dead. Since there is an infinite amount of obsidian, uh, for obvious reasons, I can make the base out of that and just save the steel for more important things. A solar flare and a pregnancy. I can't handle this many bad news at the same time. Hey, you ugly bug, leave this house now. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not like I can do anything to it, but uh, that is besides the point. You have to show who is the boss around here. Since the turbine is not really capable of supporting the 5 lights we have, I guess we need 7 more. Did the cat become an alcoholic? How? Phil, did you give the cat booze you double digit IQ troll died? As usual I have to show you the first raid, um, let me do what other youtubers do. Oh my god, a raid! No way! Guys, I don't know if you will survive this, I mean, there are two naked dudes. What will I do? They're dead. Oh, close call. Almost had us. The traps were pretty good though, especially since my colonists couldn't aim to save their lives. Uh, let me show you the first quest. Dude runs away from guinea pig. If I was the Empire, I would fire this guy because that is embarrassing. Okay guys, huddle up again. We survived for one hour. That is pretty good. Surpassed my expectations. And since things are going so well, uh, prepare for the worst because we all know things will go horribly wrong soon. Alrighty. We decrypted the transponder from the mech thingy we destroyed, thus revealing the location of a mechanoid ship. We call it down, beat the scyther which should be easy, and then boom. We can get our own mechanator after we get that mech link from that dude's dead body. There it is, Jonathan John Madcalf. With a name like that, I would also want to die. This is why I need mechs. My colonists are so bad at fighting, I would rather rely on robots. But uh, let's go and claim our prize. Alright Mal, I put my trust into you. You are the chosen one. You will lead Skynet. Hey, we got free mech. Oh, buddy. He already started working. I love you more than any colonist I ever had. If I understand correctly, I can have a max number of 6 mechs until I upgrade Mal. Also, I need more energy to charge this little boy, cause soon he will turn off. 
and I will cry because I already love him more than anyone here. I need to get the basic mech technology researched ASAP so we can start creating more cute little boys. Ah, the beauty of being pregnant. Isn't beautiful? Sadly for Bergon, he has been deemed unfit to join our colony, but he can still help us in a way. That's a nice lung right there. Nothing to see here. I was going to make him into paste. Why would you eat your own friend, bro? Wait, the dude is kind of bipolar. He's unhappy Bargon died, but he's also happy. The research is complete. Let's have some fun. No clue if it's a good idea to hunt something called Spine Gao, but let's do it anyways. Ryan... Never mind. Now he's mad and he's coming. You deserve that hit, Ryan. At least we got it. Little fridge, so I stopped the food cooking itself since it's so hot here. If it wasn't hot enough, these aims will puke fire all over us. Go, Lictor 1! Knock him out! RIP to my crops. The second they got close to becoming food, Randy denies us again. Our local alcoholic Phil is having a hard time coping with the fact that on volcanoes, there is no beer. I know, crazy. Here, try smoking. Replace one addiction with another like normal people do. Witness the circle, a giant obsidian structure. I think I accidentally started playing Minecraft. Oh god, now there are big men in Rimworld. Is Tynan actually a Minecraft stand? Hmm, I need further proof to prove my theory. <laughs> Working in the heat ain't the best for your health. Uh, get her indoors before that baby becomes paced inside of her. Poor lifter. Wait a second friend, we need to finish the recharging room and you will be on your feet in no time. Or on your wheels. You get my point. No one is surprised. There we go, we can get our little buddy back in no time. Look at him, I think he loves it. Sorry kitty, we can't have two alcoholics in one base. That's a recipe for disaster. There we go, our mech gestator is operational. Time to get some more helpers around this place. Because they can get a heat stroke. At worst, they will met in a puddle of metal. I got to a point where I have to make walls to stop Mal, so she doesn't overdose. These colonists don't want to survive, bro. I legit do not know what is happening here. I didn't make them do it. Oh, they just married. I didn't get them any presents. I'm like that broke friend that appears and just drinks as much as he can without giving you anything. Just giving Lipter one a shout out. He worked his gears off while everyone was having fun. He is the MVP of the colony. With this subcore, we can start crafting new mechs. Paid heatwave? My colonies are already burning alive for free. We don't want more heat. It seems in 6 days we will have a new member of the colony. May God help this baby survive. Constructor 1 has been completed. I think I like these mechs way more than I like kids. They are one day old and already start working. What more can you want? In an unorthodox move, I will put the waste packs created from the mechs in the fridge. The food might taste weird, but at least it will not be in the air. Although we are on a volcano, can it really get much worse? Funny enough, if you look at this, it looks like I am making a mech coliseum. This is just insult to injury. The damn crops are barely growing and now they catch on fire. I tried to convert him, but uh, it took too long and now I don't have food. So Parks is on the chopping block. Wow, three failed surgeries in a row. It seems Ryan finished medical school online. Four. <laughs> now it's up to four. Only the pigs are supposed to be blind, not my colonists also. While I have the extra people over, I might also get some bonus loot. Friend really forgot we were getting attacked. Unlucky for him. Just make sure my mechs are intact. Everything else doesn't matter. That is a bloody research room. Really need to move these guys somewhere else. We are going to need a lot of materials to floor this place. The second storage room is almost complete. No need to put things on the ground like we were the hoarders from that HBO show. Do you guys remember that show? Maybe our electricity problems will be solved now. One can only dream. <laughs> Can't wait for the next solar flare where my coolings gets turned off and my colonies burn alive. While I move everything in the new house, Another thing on our list is to make some indoor food areas. Because outside, nothing is growing to the surprise of no one. But maybe we can become self-sufficient and not rely on cannibalism and random animals. The well is done, same for the electric pump. This should give our plants the much needed irrigation to be able to grow. Tinderlisk. Guess the spiders from the jungle moved all the way to the volcano. How the hell am I killing this thing? Are these normal insects or magma insects? Cause how are you digging through the lava? Just regular old mega spiders. My mechs are some tanky boys, legit better than colonies in every way. Easy enough quest. What the hell, the plants actually grew. We have rice. I feel like a proud farmer right now. Like I cultivated them with my bare hands. 
but I'm just playing a video game. Uh, hey, somebody go get Phil. Um, she's having a sad episode from the lack of alcohol on a volcano. Oh Christ, when did it get near my base? Who not anger it? Forget that spider. What do you mean the black hive insects are attacking? Oh, they look nasty. My little robot, it has been an honor fighting with you. This mammoth worm is more armor than most mechanoids. I don't think some revolvers are piercing its shell. Stop, I can't handle any more bad news right now. Just die, you big bastard. I think I lost an entire hour worth of progress in 10 minutes. Okay, we somehow pulled this off. I am beyond surprised this colony hasn't been eaten by insects. Uh, let's start rebuilding. Guys, I have a really dumb idea. Pray it works. We have its attention. Now I need the boys to shoot it. Why aren't they fucking shooting it? Oh, thank god they are helping. Did you see it actually one shot that dude? This spider will haunt my dreams from now on. Power is finally returning. Let's repair this base. I've had enough adrenaline to last me a while. We have only one functional colonist and no one to repair the mech since Mal has been sick for two weeks now. Things are going great, I say. Phil, I sure love my colonists going insane. <laughs> Hmm. Let's sell those organs and get some supplies for the base. Seems our friend is having fun, unlike us. Must be nice being a giant monster with no regard for anything. I'm kinda jealous. Guys, if you could be any mythical creature, what would you be? I would probably pick something that flies, cause who doesn't want to fly? Probably those Aztec wind serpents that can control wind and lightning. It sounds way cooler than a dragon. Help? Yeah, I will help you. Imagine seeking help and arriving here. It's probably way worse here than where you just came from. Mal is finally up. This place was not the same without her. Hate to do this to you girl, but start working. We need those mechs repaired ASAP. You helped us for a grand total of 13 minutes. Guess that was too much for you. I'm back to bed with you. See you in a year. I hate this colony. Just realized after that whole mess, Clean Sweeper 1 is dead. He was the best of the best when it came to sweeping floors. Ever since he died, the floors have all been dirty. Really sucks losing him. Hey, we don't need more alcoholics around here. Stop it, donkey. Welcome, friend. While on your way, collect all that black jelly. Apparently, it's good baby food. Okay, just some pigs. How bad can it be? Really, really bad. That's how bad it can go. I think I need to go lay down. It's okay, it's okay. I can rebuild it. No big deal. Stop, game. I get it. You hate me. Just let me breathe for one second. Oh, Ryan is in a really bad shape, man. <laughs> oh, no, not Ryan. <laughs> man. Oh, God. Grandma is so far away. Just right near lava. Alright, Phil, you are this colony's last hope. Start making miracles. Never mind. She said fuck it. Ah, uh, he's a traitor. Where does Tynan live? I just want to ask him nicely why did he make this hellish game? Is he actually Satan? Put grandma down. Guess we are alone now. Now, girl, this would be a great time to wake up. At least the mechs still have power so they can help. And never mind. Alright, Mal is up. Let's not get too happy yet. Let's see if uh, she can stay on her feet for more than 10 minutes. <laughs> At this point, the game is just taking the piss out of me. Alright, round 2. Here she goes again. Oh, I think she's okay. This is a miracle. Wow, she's more sad she hasn't played the game than she's Ryan dying. She definitely is the psycho of the colony. Another poor soul joins the colony. I think it's safer for you to just leave. If this thing ever wakes up, I will just Alt F4, no questions asked. Sorry Max, get in the waiting line, the black insects really want me. That wasn't so bad, they didn't bring the big boy this time. 
you see two mechs, you think to yourself, yeah I can probably take those, not that hard. But then you realize, wait a minute, I am an idiot, I left my colonists in the heat so they can get a heat stroke. Boom, all of them are down from the heat and then I have to watch the mech come after my colonists, one by one. Yeah for a colony this painful, this really stupid ending sure is fitting. Do I recommend playing on a volcano? Only if you have a pain fetish maybe. Other than that, do not. But do leave a like and subscribe. Bye.